With PHD Virtual Backup for VMware vSphere, backups are restored using the Restore Wizard, which can be launched from the Backup Catalog or from the integrated menus within vSphere Client. For this demo, I'll launch the wizard from the Backup Catalog after I find the backup I'd like to restore. First, I'll open the PHD console by right-clicking within vSphere Client and selecting PHD Virtual Backup Console. Next, I'll click Backup Catalog. All of the VM backups are displayed. The catalog view can be changed to show VMs by virtual machine name, by date, or by the VBA used to perform the backup. Since I know the name of the VM I'd like to restore, I'll select Virtual Machine. I'm going to restore a backup for my sample Linux VM. I'll expand the available backups to find the one I'd like to restore. After I select the backup, I'll click the Restore button. The Restore Wizard launches, and the backup I chose is selected. At the Job Settings step, I can name the restore job and append to the restored VM name. The actual restored VM name can be changed later in the wizard. Additionally, I can select to verify the restore. Here I can select where the VM should be restored. All available server and storage combinations are displayed. I'm going to select to restore to a shared storage repository on my host. In the Network Settings area, I can select to use the settings that were captured with the backup if they're available on my target location. And I can also select to automatically generate a new MAC address for the restored VM. Finally, I can select the default network to use from the list. The schedule step lets me restore the VM now or once at a later date and time. For this demo, I'll leave now selected and click next. At the settings step, I can change any of the defaults selected during the course of the wizard. I can change the VM name, the appended text, the network settings, or destination by clicking inside the table. I'm going to leave my selections as is and click Submit. The console opens to the Jobs area. From here I can watch the progress of my restore job. If I select the job, I can view the details of the restore and the progress of each individual disk. When the job is complete, it's logged in the History tab. Back in vSphere Client, I can see the VM has been restored and is ready to be powered on. That completes the steps for using PHD Virtual Backup for VMware vSphere to restore a backup. Thanks for watching. For more information about PHD Virtual Backup, visit www.phdvirtual.com. There you'll find additional videos, documentation, and web-based help.